Hi friends, welcome to Sunday School. We are in a new season that we started last week. Do you remember what it was called? Advent, right. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas and Advent is where we prepare our hearts. We prepare our minds and our bodies for Jesus because Jesus is born on Christmas. Well, last week we lit the candle of hope and we read a Bible story that God promised us hope, a hopeful future. And today we're going to light the candle of peace. Peace and hope, that's what Jesus will bring. Our rural friends are preparing for Christmas. I bet just like you, are you preparing for Christmas? We sure are here at church and we are at my house. Let's see how the rural friends prepare for Christmas. Welcome to the Advent Ambassadors Program. You're all here because you're interested in welcoming potential new members into our church. Dang! With the Advent season here, our pews will be filled with people who may only come to church around Christmas. As Advent Ambassadors, it's your job to welcome them and... Please stop making those noises, Victor. Oh, but this is torture! Victor, if you didn't want to be an Advent Ambassador, you shouldn't have signed up. I didn't sign up. But you keep running into my great aunt Marjorie and telling her about all these great opportunities that I'm missing. It is a great opportunity. It's a waste of time. You don't want new people in the church. Why would I? What's the appeal of new people? Mm hmm. Maybe some role playing will help. I'm sorry. Did you say role playing? Victor, why don't you play the role of the new member? And Ada, you can welcome Victor. Uh, no, 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 no. For this scene, my name will be Toledo Jack. All right. Ada, please welcome Toledo Jack into our church. Hi there, Jack. Please call me Toledo. Oh, hi, Toledo. My name's Ada, and I want to welcome... Hello. I'm Toledo Jack. I just moved here from Pineapple City. Pineapple City. Wow, that's a pretty far move. It is. And on top of that, I... I don't know anyone here. It's so difficult to make friends in a new place. How's a person like me, Toledo Jack, supposed to break the ice? Well, coming to First Second Church at Christmas was a good first step. I feel so lonely. So alone. It makes me wonder if the move was even worth it. Uh, may maybe this place isn't right for Toledo Jack. Should I move back to Pineapple City? I just want to be welcomed. Why won't anyone welcome me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Try again. You too, Jax. <laughs> so alone. <laughs> We're welcoming you right now, Toledo. You are? Yeah. We can all go to church together. I feel... I feel so wonderful. I, I feel so included. Now I, Toledo Jack, the man who has never lost a staring contest, I want to help the wonderful community. That is for second church in any way that I can. Think of all that we can do working together. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. And scene. Well, Victor, do you see the point of the Advent Ambassador program now? I get the general idea. All right. Let's keep on training. Excellent. For this next scene, I will be... Copperhead. Anthony Copperhead. Secret Agent.
Have you ever been the new person? The new person at church or at school or somewhere else, maybe into a new team or after school activity? It's not easy being the new people. How can you help new people feel welcome? It's hard. And that's what we're going to think about. We're going to read our story. It's from the World Story Bible. Our story is from the book of Romans. That's where you can find it in your Bible. We're reading from Romans chapter 15, verses 4 through 13. Jews and Gentiles together. The church in Rome included many different people. Some people were Jews. Some people were Gentiles. Everyone believed in Jesus. Paul wanted to encourage all the believers. He decided to send the people in the church a letter. To the church family in Rome, I heard you are arguing. Jews and Gentiles disagree about the best ways to follow Jesus. I'm asking God to help you get along. Don't live apart. Don't argue. Live together the way Jesus showed us. You are one church. Worship God together. Welcome each other. Jesus welcomed everyone. The scriptures were written to teach us. They give us hope that all God's people will live with God one day. The prophet Isaiah said Jesus is our hope. Jews can have hope in Jesus. Gentiles can have hope in Jesus. Everyone can have hope in Jesus. Jesus came and just like the scripture said, I ask God to help everyone believe in Jesus so you will have lots of hope together. Your friend, Paul. Well, as we talked about a little bit last week, sometimes people don't get along. Why? Because we're human. We are not Jesus. So we will get grumpy and angry and we won't take time to listen to others. When really I think that's all it takes is getting to know each other. Sometimes we don't get along at school. Sometimes we don't get along at home and we fight with our siblings or our family. Sometimes we don't get along in the church. What can we do to get along? How can we work together? Even all of those years ago, people were different in the church. They didn't have the same backgrounds and they didn't have the same beliefs, but they still needed to work together. That's what we need to do too. We need to stop and remember that our feelings are important, but so are the other people that we know. Their feelings are important too. So let's slow down, let's listen, let's talk to each other. Well, as a craft, I thought we could make paper dolls because they hold on to each other's hands like they're working together. So I cut a piece of paper in half and then I'm gonna fold it, um, I just folded this piece one way back towards me. Now I'm gonna fold this one forward and then I'm gonna fold it back. And then I'm going to draw a little person. So I'm just going to and you take up as much room as you can. So I just drew the head and now the arms have to go all the way out. Do you see how they go all the way out and touch the edges? That's important. And then I did the other side of the arms and then down here, I'm going to just connect. I just connected the feet and you can leave it like that if you want them to wear a dress or if you want pants on your person, just put it like that. Then all you have to do is cut it out. So when I cut it out, I just made sure that I had folded edges on these sides. And when you're done, open it up. And now be your paper doll people. And it will remind you to hold hands. Maybe you don't like holding hands, but maybe just in your head, you think about holding hands with others, working together. How can you help others? 
and then you can decorate your people. And then when you see this, you can remember our story to love one another, to help each other. Well, my friends, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.